Greetings and salutations. This is Jason Silver and I'm returning to Grim Fandango. Now I just came back here because I realised the moon's got a skull face. Oh, it shone pale as bone as I stood there alone, and I thought to myself how the moon that night cast its light on my heart's true delight, and the reef where her body was strewn. Again, beautiful little bit of writing. So, we're just searching around at the moment. I think I'm going to go back to my club because right now I need to get a VIP, sort of a union card, which I need. Go. Oh, they're the CBs. I thought he was joking. Hmm, these bees don't seem too busy. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution uh, makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew ways like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what? And this is why I need the book. Just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. Since you're not using it. Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? <laughs> you guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. If the cops own the union, and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but, uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in oh, America. Oh, damn. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. I can't tolerate things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees, they do all the work, but we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by, I mean, we well, should... Yeah. Ah, forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. Well, I guess I know who to start rebellion for. Okay, so, that's that way. It's this way. Oh, uh, back here. That's, yeah, that takes me back up to my club. Where we go?
Manny? Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny! Are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. Uh -huh. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. Well, I'll be damned. It looks like this is Middle getting even monsieur, more complicated. You, Ladies and gentlemen, please place your beds. So, I think I've got a series of puzzles I can work out. Whoop, no, back... Those damn controls! Well, here we are, back again. Um, now, I was going to go straight for the VIP chaps, but I think I've got an idea how to get around the uh, metal detector. The Carla. Now. This is... Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is gold flakes in it, right? Ah, Marillo de Oro. If I A drink it, liqueur, I should maybe have just a sip. maybe have gold flakes inside me. Ah. Though how it doesn't just drain out of him, I don't know. Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Sure, you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. <laughs> rules are rules. Uh, and of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, 
Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. Just no, 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 no. Changing. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Ah, six. The golden year. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. He was Aww. as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often did. He had hairball. such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? Yes, you seem shy. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but... I just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I just smile once in a while. She always said a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Your mom outfit. must have loved you very much. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and... And... And I'd... Oh, Mother! <laughs> okay, this got really awkward. I'm so sorry! <laughs> Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. I feel really, really bad. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? No way. Oh, okay. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the only industry... Oh, I should have just said yes. Figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just mm, love dates. prunes? They have such a great texture. <laughs> They're all wrinkled up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh. oh. <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always I don't believe I'm gonna... I remember one time back when I was yeah, six. Well, that's an interesting name. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six seven. because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was dead. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat often <laughs> did. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know why. No, I just can't believe that. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. I was Can in detention all the way through high school. <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom Mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, oh. if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed okay. to smile this when the cops went called us in the middle of the completely different way than I thought it would be. out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy and Grandma Hedwig and Mr. Rufus and I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and 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 I'd oh mother <laughs> Gosh. I'm so sorry <laughs> Mommy Don't cry <laughs> Now, now. Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Are you sure you didn't just come back here for this metal detector? Actually, yeah. I did come back here just for your metal detector. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. 
If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. These lockers have a note on them. Employees. I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. <laughs> Thank you. They're awesome. locked. They're lockers. Not picking that up. Oh, wow. Well. I feel a bit bad, but... Ah, Carla. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. Damn it, Manny. Bye, Carla. Drop dead! To be fair, Manny kind of deserves that one a little bit. So, if I remember right, the path should be that way. Then right. And right again. Well, that's the hole I saw Carla's metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Oh dear. This could be anywhere. I need a metal detector to find the metal detector. Well, because I'm not using my hands in that. What you can hear something. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Aha! Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. A little stinky, but it could be worse. With that done, let's get up to the VIP section, shall we? I'm sorry, monsieur, but here's my pass, Jean-Claude. Now shut those doors and drive. Oui, monsieur. <laughs> well, actually, my name is Raoul. Lovely lovely children children Let's have a look at the kitchen. Looks like something I can pick up. Looks like a turkey baster. Uh, into my jacket of many things. Looks like cans of some sort of canned meat. Oh, I really hope this isn't where the old race cats end up. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like the pantry. Looks like the pantry. Not picking that up. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. I don't need any cat meat. Looks like more of that cat meat or whatever that is. Okay, why would it bring me in here? He's looking at the floor. Secret passageway at some point? his beauty rest. Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here! Going down? Probably. Later. Maybe you could take me down now? Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. <laughs> no, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea. But he's new. Give him a break. To 
Just open the elevator door. Then it really is just fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has everything? Sorry. Don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Okay. Nighty night. <sighs> <laughs> oh. Hey! What? I'm trying to get. Okay. <sighs> I have to come back and get past him later. Busy as ever, I see. Hmm. Busy as ever, I. Hmm. Let's have a look around. What's with this place in cats? I don't like. Who needs a giant 24 karat gold cat? Ah, who needs a cat, period? Not a fan of cats, then, Manny. Boy, that Nick sure gets around. I'm not going to talk to him yet. Going up, I think. Oh no, I'm just confused. Okay, there's got to be a way up there somehow. Is it that way? Oh. You know, I'm getting the feeling Max ain't much of a dog guy. You know me better than I thought. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Brilliant lines. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny. Don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes, and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that twice. <laughs> Definitely just very the classic. The has got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the Tom Corner, Manny. Cut it out. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna shoot me in the face, isn't he? No, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it now. Well, I'll let you just can't get enough of my cats. Well, you can't say I didn't try to warn the guy. Maximino, King of Kittens. Don't know if that progressed anything in the story, but it was fun to go through. Nick Virago. 
What are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. I already got rid of that, and I can do the same to you, Calavera. That would be the key that was missing. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No. That puss-eyed puss is going to lose, but nobody knows, and I am going to make a mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes, they keep themselves pretty clean. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. <laughs> Don't. Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Oh, do I do it? Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. It's Virago's cigarette case. Nah, he'd see me do it. Hmm. How am I going to get rid of that cigarette case? Maybe it's more of a yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance cut. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Oh. That was easy. And I got a new cigarette. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. Well, where are you? I've got a lot of junk now. It's Virago's cigarette case. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to press it twice. Uh, I can't open the part that I think has the key in it. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. I guess it's time for me to get the hell out of Dodge. Or try and figure out how to get out of this guy.
Wait, what? How do I leave? Okay, I'm back, and after derping around with a cigarette case, I remembered about the thing about the explosive dis um, decompression chamber. So while she's heaved at me, maybe I can get her to um, do that for me. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? Yes. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Oh! Ha ha! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Yep, she's still better. Well, I've got a key now. But Nick had that, and it was... He pilfered it for me. We pilfered it from our, um... From Lola left it. So since I saw the metal detector, again, I thought this would be ideal for this moment. Did he say something about ID tags? So, I mean, that's the metal detector. I don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey. Just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. Wait, I have a belt buckle? He has a belt buckle? I'd hate to end up like this. Then take wouldn't match my cufflink. I'd hate to they wouldn't nah. match my cufflink. I don't think picking flowers is really appropriate right now. in front of the blue casket. Unfortunately my lead with giving the metal detector to the guy in the morgue with a bit of a dead end. I can't really think what I'm supposed to do next there. But I definitely need to figure out a way to get the book from the um, these chaps. Now I need to convince them because they won't speak to me 
because they think I'm one of the uh, higher ops. Now I've just been going for my stuff. Salvador is pretty much a one of these guys ish, like fight the power type. So I wonder what happens if I give him, give them Salvador's notes to me. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend? Salvador Limones. Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera. A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Yes. I love it Would when... Would you guys mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Yeah, and now I can give that to the bees. Wait, can I go on the stage? Cool. Looks like it's open mic night. Testing. 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 Good evening. I like to read a poem. Wholeness. It lingers. Is it you or am I you? Myself. My self. Nothing. Oneness. Myself. My self. I am more than dead. The end. We hear you, Daddy. Okay. Weird. I wonder if you've got anything new to say. Hey. Okay. Wholeness. It lingers. Wait, is she? She's is saying the one I said it. Or am I you? Myself. My self. Nothing. Oneness. Myself. My self. I am more than dead. Okay. Hey, you stole my poem. Consider it an homage. Well, <laughs> keep practicing that link. Very good. Okay. That hookah water was used to knock people out before. It's a secret thing in the drinks here, and apparently was stolen from us. Now, since I can't replace the drink in the um, oh, in the tattoo parlor, what about spike it with this stuff? And we have a winner. So I've got a couple of jobs to do. Who do I go to first? Go see the bees. And I think I'm going to leave it for this video, and I'll catch you next video. We'll see what the bees do with their book.